This is a quick introduction to the basic building blocks of three-dimensional space. Uh, the point, line, plane, and volume, which uh, all four together make up three-dimensional space. Let's start with a point. So a point is essentially, all it does is it indicates position in space. The simplest uh, form, and we will get to uh, specifics of that in later videos. When you have a line, you simply connect two points. And a line has certain properties that a point doesn't have. It has length, um, described by the distance between the two points. It has direction, which is the axis by which the line rests. And it also has position, because those two points have position, which comes from the point's properties. Uh, after the line is a plane, and for a plane, you just take that line and you sweep it in one direction. And now you've uh, defined the place where these two lines, the plane on which these two lines both lie. The plane has added properties um, to that of a line. You don't need to write position twice. Um, uh, along with position, length, and direction, it has width because now in addition to those uh, to the length that you had before, you also have the extended width. You also have shape, uh, depending on how you uh, extruded that line. Uh, you have surface, and you also have orientation. Finally, you have volume, where you take that plane and you extrude it in a third dimension. And volume has all of these. It also has depth in addition to length and width, which is this new uh, third dimension measurement of distance. Uh, you have form and space, which are probably the most important in terms of architectural uh, study, which we'll get to a lot in future videos. Um, you have surface, you have orientation, and you have position, but we are really going to look at these when it comes to understanding design principles. So last thing I'm going to leave with you, you with in this video is a uh, good diagram which is in Qing, uh, the book titled architecture, form, space, and order. And this is a good diagram to remember uh, to just be able to produce because it really speaks well to um, creating higher levels of dimension um, from lower ones, which is really how you should be deriving higher dimensions. So let's start with a point. And now let's sweep that point in a given direction that you've created a line. Now let's take that line and let's sweep it in a different direction. And now we have a plane. Now let's take that plane and sweep it in yet another direction. And now we have volume. And that's really the basics of understanding three dimensions. And you should be doing this with all objects you see in day-to-day in -day life. Uh, seeing how points become lines, becomes planes, and become volumes.